Inside a commercial kitchen, a high-speed grinding wheel spins inside a metal housing as an operator leans in just a little too far. Never, ever place yourself inside the operating envelope of a powered grinder. If the machine is running, distance is your only protection. A spinning grinding wheel stores energy in motion. High speed means instant force, even if the surface looks smooth. Once the guard line is crossed, there is no reaction time. The machine continues moving until power is cut. Grinding machines don't become safer just because the wheel isn't sharp. If it spins, it controls the space around it. Step back, shut it down, and let the machine go still before you go in. High above the factory floor, a welding arc flares while an open container sits directly below, quietly holding something invisible but ready. Never, ever perform hot work above an untested container. Test the atmosphere, ventilate the space, and control the area below before an arc is struck. Welding produces sparks and heat that act as ignition sources. An open container can collect invisible flammable gas, especially gases heavier than air. A single spark entering that space can ignite the mixture, and rapid gas expansion can drive a sudden upward flare. Hot work doesn't stop at the arc. If there's a space below, test it, vent it, or clear it. Invisible hazards don't warn before they react. On the factory floor, an exposed rotating machine is left running and suddenly catches, snapping into a fast, uncontrolled spin. Never get close to exposed rotation. Stop, isolate, and verify zero energy before any reach-in. Torque grabs instantly and keeps pulling. A rotating machine stores kinetic energy in continuous motion. When an external object contacts the rotating mass, friction and torque transfer motion immediately. The system continues rotating until power or inertia is removed. Rotation does not let go. Guard rotating parts maintain distance and stop motion before approaching the machine. At a metal workstation, active welding sends heat and sparks outward, and head protection suddenly matters more than it looks. Never, ever treat nearby or overhead welding as someone else's problem. Wear proper head protection and control spark paths before striking an arc. Welding creates molten particles and radiant heat that travel unpredictably. Sparks bounce, ricochet, and ride air currents rather than falling straight down. When they contact unprotected surfaces, heat transfers instantly. A welding cap provides a thermal barrier that absorbs heat and blocks direct contact before it reaches skin or hair. Welding hazards don't stay confined to the arc. Wear proper protection, shield exposed areas, and control spark zones because small PPE can stop fast-moving hazards. On a loading truck, a crane lifts bulk bags overhead as a supervisor stands on an elevated surface, quietly removing the margin for balance. When a crane is lifting overhead, never, ever stand on an elevated truck bed or load. Stay on the ground, outside the fall and swing zone. An elevated truck bed increases potential energy, while crane motion introduces sway, vibration, and shifting forces. Small horizontal forces from boom movement, wind, or load settling can move the center of mass past the base of support instantly. With suspended loads overhead, hazard zones overlap and recovery space disappears. Cranes lift loads, not people. If you are elevated, step down or secure yourself before gravity decides the outcome. Outside a workshop, a damaged tire sits on the ground as compressed air quietly builds energy inside. Never, ever inflate or repair a damaged tire without proper restraints. Stored air pressure can release violently without warning. Compressed air stores energy like a spring under tension. A damaged casing concentrates stress at weak points, and when failure occurs, the release is instantaneous. Rapid expansion drives an outward burst that can launch tire or rim components. Because the energy builds silently, failure often comes without visible warning. Air pressure is invisible but powerful. If a tire is compromised, replace it or restrain it before adding pressure. In a narrow commercial kitchen, a heavy pot moves through a tight aisle as its contents suddenly spill across the floor. Never, ever transport heavy hot liquids in confined aisles where traction or clearance is compromised. Liquid on smooth flooring drops friction instantly. With a heavy container, inertia is higher and quick corrections are difficult. 
Sloshing shifts the center of mass mid-step, amplifying instability and turning a tight aisle into a zero margin zone for balance. Spills change the floor, not the laws of motion. Clear paths, reduce load size, and control liquids before movement begins. On a construction slab, a rolling scaffold begins moving while someone remains on the platform, turning a simple push into a balance test. Gravity always wins. Remove all occupants and lock stability before moving a scaffold. Never roll it with mass elevated. A rolling scaffold stays stable only while its center of mass remains inside the wheelbase. Movement adds acceleration, vibration, and caster shifts. Elevated mass has inertia, so when the base moves or hits debris, the top lags and sways, creating tipping torque. Once the center crosses the wheelbase edge, gravity takes over immediately. Scaffolds are stable only when still. Lower the load, lock the wheels, and remove all occupants before movement begins. In a factory aisle, stacked ceramic units rest high on narrow racks until one small shift turns storage into a chain reaction. Never, ever overload or destabilize vertical storage racks. Once one item moves, collapse propagates instantly through the stack. Tall stacks raise the center of mass. When support shifts or is removed, gravity pulls the upper load downward, transferring force through the rack and triggering cascading. Failure. Storage is balanced, not static. Limit stack height, secure racks, and never work beside unstable vertical loads. On a construction site, a large formwork panel is released above ground level, and gravity immediately takes control. Unsecured panels above ground level are stored energy hazards. Once support is removed, gravitational acceleration is immediate and unavoidable. Formwork panel at height stores gravitational energy. When support is removed, gravity converts that energy into accelerating motion instantly. As the panel falls, speed and kinetic energy rise rapidly, and without restraint, there is no way to slow or stop the motion once it begins. Height turns weight into danger. Secure all panels, control releases, and keep drop zones clear, because gravity never hesitates. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.